setting up your new social kitchen. How are you children? Hope you are fine. Okay, let's look at the first chapter in social. The first chapter name is the taller system and the fur. Did you see the stars in the sky? Yes, get the bright stars during night. But we can't see the stars during morning. Why is it so children? Yes, because of the brightness of the sun, we can't see the stars during morning. So what are the stars? Stars are huge balls of hot glowing gases. It is a huge hot balls, but it contains glowing gases. Then stars give out heat and light to the planets. The sun is the star closest to the earth. That you know, which star closest to the earth? Yes, the sun. So you know the meaning of stars? Stars are huge balls of hot glowing gases. And it provides heat and light. So next topic is about solar system. So planets, the solar system include eight planets. So there is eight planets. You know what I mean by planet? Planets are long round objects that go around a star. There are many other planets that is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These are eight planets in the solar system. So solar system means or it includes the sun. The sun, then the planets and the moons. So solar system includes the sun, the planets and their moons. Moons means what? Moons are the objects that revolve around the planets. So these three things are included in solar system. First one, the sun, the planets and their moons. So these include solar system. What is the first planet? Yes, Mercury. So, Mercury features. Mercury, that is, it is the planet nearest to the sun. It is the first planet. So it is the nearest planet to the sun. That is the first point. Second point, it is very hot during the day. Daytime, it is very hot. And during night, it is very cold. And it has no moon. So these are the three points related to Mercury. So what are they? First, it is a planet which is nearest to the sun. So which is the planet nearest to the sun, children? Mercury. Second point, it is very hot during the day and it is very cold during the night. And third point, it has no moon. So these are the three points you have to study about Mercury. Okay? Then move on to the next planet. Which is the second planet? Venus. So we discuss about the Mercury. Then what is the second planet, children? Yes, Venus. So Venus features, it is the hottest and brightest planet. It is very hot planet and it is very brightest also. So it is the hottest and brightest planet. And second point, it is called the morning star or the evening star. Why the Venus is called so? Anyone know the answer? Yes, we can see the Venus during morning and during night or during evening. So that's why we call it as morning star or evening star. And what is the last one? It has no moons. So there are three points. First one, it is the hottest and brightest planet. The second one, it is also called morning star or evening star. And third one, it has no moon. So these are the main points related to Venus. Hope you understand the features of Venus. Okay children, 
The next plant is earth. Earth is a kind of verb live. So earth feature, it is the only planet known to have life. So why it is called so known to have life? Because we can live here. Because there are the planet has heat, light, water, air, all the things are there in earth. So human beings can survive in earth. So it is not to have this planet not to have life. So what are the main features of earth? So earth is a planet. It is the only planet that not to have life. And earth has air and water. Air contains what oxygen so that the human beings can breathe. And next one, it is neither too hot nor too cold. The last one, it has one moon. So these are the main features of earth. Is it clear? Third planet, earth. So children, next planet is Mars. Fourth planet, Mars. So Mars is known as red planet. Did you see the picture of Mars? Yes, it's a red in color. So it is known as red planet. Then second one, it appears red color. Why is it so? Because of the red dust that covers it. So that's why it appears red in color. Then it has two moons. How many moons for Mars? It has two moons. So three points. First one, it's a red planet. It appears red in color because of the red dust that covers it. And the last one, it has two moons. Okay, three points. Red planet, it appears red. It has two moons. And we discussed four planets. So what are they? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. So these four planets are called inner planets. Why it is called inner planets? Okay, then. Because these four planets are very much close to the sun. So it is, these planets are known as inner planets. So these planets are called as inner planets because they are very nearer to the sun. Okay? Which are the planets nearer to the sun? Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are called inner planets because they are very much close to the sun. So children, Four plants over the remaining four plants are there. Which are the remaining four plants? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So, first one Jupiter. Jupiter features Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. First one, it is the largest planet in the solar system. It has huge spot on it because of the storm blowing on it. And the last one, it has 67 known moons. Is it clear? So what are the features? It is the largest planet. It has a big spot on it. Why? Because of the large storm blowing on it. And it has 67 known moons. How many moons? 67. Okay? Jupiter is the fifth planet. So children, next planet, that is the sixth planet is Saturn. Sixth planet is Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. So which is the largest planet? That is Jupiter. The second largest planet is Saturn. Then it has many rings around it. Did you see the picture of Saturn in Facebook? There are some rings around that planet. 
So there are million rings around it. The next one, it has 62 known moons. How many moons? 62. But in the case of Jupiter, there are 67. So in the case of Saturn, only 62 known moons. So these are the main points. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system. Then second point is, it has many rings around it. And third one, it has 62 known moons. So these are the three points related to Saturn. Okay? The planet is Uranus. There are only two points related to Uranus. It is the third largest planet in the solar system. And it has 27 known moons. How many? 27 known moons. So third largest planet in the solar system is Uranus. So these are the two points. The last planet is Neptune. Eighth the planet. It is a very windy planet because there is a strong winds are blowing on this planet. So very windy planet and it has 40 known moons. How many moons in Neptune? That is 40 known moons. So these are the main points related to Uranus and Neptune. So Uranus is the third largest planet in the solar system. We discuss the features of eight planets. So, last of four planets that is Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They are called outer planets. Why is it so? Because they are far away from the sun. So, it is known as outer planets. We already discussed about inner planets. Which are the inner planets children? There are four inner planets. Yes, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. They are called inner planets because they are very close to the sun. And the outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Okay, these are called outer planets because they are far away from the sun. Is it clear?